Okay, you guys. So I couldn't find a poly gel brush, so I'm just gonna use my uh, gel flat brush. I'm gonna do poly gel, and I'm just gonna do full cover gel nails today. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of prep and prime, do a base coat, right? I can never remember. So this is primer, and this, wait, this both says primer. Oh, pre-prime, okay. Okay, so let's get the... Shh. You can't be that loud, please. I got okay? started. No, did you? All right, we'll try again. That's You got to get better. You just started playing it. Look it. Good. Yeah, practice makes perfect. You remember earlier when we said that? Practice makes perfect. Practice made your daddy something better than he was the last time you saw me. Practice made her good at nails. Okay, so I'm doing uh, prep and prime, and then I'm going to do a base coat, obviously, and then I'm going to do poly gel. Nail for girls? Yeah, I do nails on girls. Like all, like all whoever girls? pays me. No, I I do it for money. I do it as a job. Oh, like an office. Yeah. Just like schools. Yeah, stores. I went. I went to school for this. School and stores. And school is very important. No matter what you want to go for, you still need to go. And stores and all. Also with cameras, a watcher, a police. Yeah. All right, stop banging, please, Christian. Don't and a do police that. Police officer, right? Yeah, police officers have offices too. Ah, oh, come on, dang it! Look at this camera. Okay. I don't know where I have. You know, Couture base gel around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. You know what? To make it all, you know, couture, I'm going to use the, you know, couture big still. I'm not going to be talking much, y'all. I just wanted to do my nails. I was going to just record it just because. Stay back. But I'm not really in the mood to talk too much, so I'm just going to do Stay back. a base coat Stay back. to Stay back. Stay back. Stay protect back. my nails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay back. Christian, don't scream, please. Thank you. Are you winning at least? Yeah, I got so heavy last week. Good. The more you play it, the better you'll get. So you just gotta practice, okay? You got to Yep. Yeah. I just wanna do some sweater nails. So oh, I got that's shooting. why I decided to. I got shooting. You're Sorry. dead. Yes. Oh, well, try again. That's all you can do. Just try again, try again, try again. Yep. Now let's turn this down just a little tad bit. There we go. Yeah, you're thirsty because you're all that work, all that brain power you're using. Yeah. <laughs> the more you drink, the more you hydrate. Yes, exactly. You're smart. The more you drink, the more you hydrate. As long as it's not some sugary soda or something. But you're drinking a hydration drink, actually. Trying to get past everything what I have on my game. What are those Gatorade drinks that we have in the refrigerator, baby? But they're not Gatorade? Uh. What's that brand? That's what he's drinking. I gave him, like, the orange-flavored one. Uh, the bottle should still be in there. Unless I... Oh, maybe I did give him all of it. But there is a few more down and underneath. On the one level. No. They're equivalent to Gatorade. No. We literally both used to drink them. You like the strawberry or banana one. Body armor. Yeah.
So my nails are really thin, so I did the um, 99 second one so that it could go up to the, the proper heat because I didn't want to get a heat spike. So I'm not going to put the gel on this hand yet because, you know, with moving around and stuff like that, I don't want to. Um, You're going to go back into the living room? Yes. Okay, you can if you want to. You don't have to stay in here. You don't have to stay in here. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. My phone got folded in the black charger. Do you need help? No. Oh. Ooh, sorry. Uh, sorry. It's okay. There we go. Yep. Perfect. There you go. Good boy. You? Good boy. Who? You. You're always a good boy, most of the time anyway, right? Okay, so I'm trying to think, maybe I should do the Kiara. So I have the Kiara Sky Lamp, and I think I want to try that again, see if I like it. Because I used to not like it, but I feel like I would. Why is this not? Okay, there we go. I thought I had my heater on, but apparently not. Okay, so... The Kiara Sky, oh, I don't know where the wire is at for this. All right, maybe I won't use it because I'm not going to be, I don't want to go searching for a wire, so never mind. Oh, I'll go search for that wire another day. Actually, I really think the wire is in this drawer, but I don't feel like, because it's probably fallen to the bottom, so. We'll try the Kiara Sky lamp again one of these days. All right, so these are already pre-etched. Let's get some poly gel in them and pretty much um that's it so i just want like a enough to cover the whole to cover the whole nail and that's about it and to fill up the C curve because I have very flat nail beds. So I definitely need enough to fill this in so that it, um, maybe I should use base gel. I should have just used base gel. This is a gel brush, so it'd probably be easier. Yeah, I'm going to try the base gel. I don't really care to use alcohol. So let's do a little bit of base gel. Sometimes this is why I'm not really a huge poly gel fan. Because I just feel like it's messy. <laughs> but I want to use, like I want to start doing different nails regardless. You know what I mean? Because that's the whole point of my channel is to just do different nails and do what other people like also and show you how I do my nails so and how to just do nails in general and I need to be able to show you different different things that are going on in the nail community and not just what only I like you know not to be selfish y'all so trying to think if that's enough but i guess we shall see oh let's actually put get this out and put that on there all right so i need just a little bit of so once you cure the a layer of gel i go back and do a little thin layer and don't cure it so that it like suctions on it properly like better for some reason you know okay so i have this light i'm going to put it like this Oop. and i'm going to suction that on okay so definitely i need way more poly gel for um my uh my nail like to fill in for the c curve so we're definitely putting more i don't need to put a lot near you know the cuticle kind of just like feather that out 
and then this is perfect for anyone that has really flat nail beds that you really need you know enough to cover that uh that deep deep c curve you know that a uh, not c curve actually the apex is what you really are um trying to fill in you know what i mean so let me see if this is enough yeah all right so that's enough all right now i need to position it and i want to feather this out a little bit so that don't mind the noise today i know it's usually quiet but i finally we finally have my stepson around so it's kind of nice to hear the noise we haven't seen him in a while so all right so just make sure it's straight on there and it kind of suctions perfectly and then there so i literally only need to put it on the flashy just for like a freeze on because i'll put it in the lamp for a full 60 seconds at the end it, this is just enough so that and since i'm not using really liquidy stuff the poly gel is actually perfect um without having to like place it anywhere all right so boom let's put a little jelly and i do it one at a time just because you know you're using a flashy on each finger and you don't know if you're going to end up carrying your finger while you're dealing with the previous finger so i just wait to be honest and this time i'm actually going to put base coat the nail and then put poly gel just so that it kind of fuses together and that's dot this is a really cute so this happy gel is happy gel 103 this is you know couture's version of like you know poly gel so this time i'm gonna learn to put definitely more let's see if that's enough and then like i said i want to instead of using alcohol i'm going to do the base coat or base gel i mean i don't do this very often y'all don't ever really see me doing this i like to actually do nails but um like i said i have so much product and i want to start really you know using everything that i have instead of it just sitting around all right, so I think I put way too much. No, maybe not. Once I spread it out, it just seems like I put too much poly gel on this finger. I put like so much more on this little finger versus um, when I did the thumb. Like what? That doesn't make any sense. What are you doing? No, please don't do that in here, please. Because I don't want you knocking things over in here, please. I know you're trying to play ball with Bron Bron, but see, that's why I just don't mess with Poly Joe like everybody else does. I just think it's so sticky. I mean, once you get used to it and you're like really good at it, then I guess like it's less likely to get as sticky, but I'm just not that good because I don't do it very often. So that's why, you know, you really have to put time in but i see that's my thing i would rather put time in on doing acrylics then you know rather than spending my time doing poly gel but if poly gel is your thing then obviously you if you like poly gel more than acrylic but i just think from a professional standpoint i'm not gonna be really doing poly gel like that professionally so you know i put more time into Poly gel. I mean, uh, to acrylic. You know what I'm talking about. All right. So, boom. Okay. Boom, boom. All righty. And then just.
just pull that out. You kind of want to just you you see how I'm using my middle finger to kind of hold it down a little bit. Just kind of, you know, keep it in place while I brush the underneath so that it's not so boom. And that's that. I'm hoping with the fact that I put poly gel under the whole nail, it feels like uh, heavier. And sometimes for the fact that I have smaller nail beds, when only, when only the gel is on here, I feel like this is so thin. There's just not enough on my nail you know what i'm saying to like really be fused together and it just doesn't seem like it's strong enough i've never had any problems where they like really fall off it's just a feeling that i get that i have but with these they feel heavier they feel like they're more fused together i don't know how to explain it but if anyone understands what i'm talking about then cool if not i don't know what to tell you <laughs> all right so I have, like I said, I haven't done poly gel in a long time. So excuse me if like this isn't like good enough for you or whatever, you know. Some people probably are better at it than me, but you know, I don't know what to tell you, boo. I'm trying here. Okay, and I kind of like put the brush in the middle and push it. What? Why? What are you looking for? You're looking for Brawny? Does he have the uh, the ball with him? Oh yeah, y'all y'all are bullying him, huh? No, y'all are bullying my baby, <laughs> Bron Bron. Are they bullying you? You let me know, baby. You just play with them with the ball. I know. I'm just joking, but he's not feeling it. <laughs> Yeah. You know, he usually has to, he usually gets to play rough, but he knows he can't play rough around. Yeah, he's playing soft because he knows. That's funny. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, he's really in here. He's not moving. He does not want to be. Did you just take the ball off of him? Um, he did want it that. Oh, okay. Right. Brian feels like Rudolph right now. Right. He Don't is not. Don't drop over that light, Bronny. What's wrong? He's about to trip over your light. Yeah, you okay, baby? What's wrong? What's wrong, baby? Here. Go ahead, baby, if you want to go out. You're not? You all right, baby? <laughs> babe, will you fix this wire over here just in case so he doesn't... Yeah, just in case. All right, so push forward. Oh, this one is not as good. It's not suctioning as good. <laughs> He's got a rope under here. He's like, you, only took, you didn't take all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, wait, please. Ronnie, wait. Here. Oh, boy. I wasn't going to take it. Oh, he thought you were taking it from him? Stay. He doesn't have to stay. Well, if he values a toy, he will. <laughs> okay. I feel like this one is not as tight. I'm just trying to make sure that there's no bubbles in this one. This honestly will probably just be on for a couple of days. I am covering these. I just so happen to have this one open. That's why I'm just using it. I might actually, I don't know. I'm pretty much just using it as the clear. Is there a clear over here? What is this one? I don't know what color this one is. All right, let's check this color. Oh, this one's glittery, too. Yeah, this one's like a real glitter, too. All right, cool. 
Let's try this one and see what this glitter looks like. All right, let's do... I know this looks a mess, but I'm covering these anyway, so I don't really care what acrylic or what poly gel is underneath. Uh, like I said, I'm just using it as glue, pretty much. You can't run away with it. If you want to play, you got to play. Close the door if you want. Close this door. I'd rather it be closed anyway so I don't hear y'all. Thank you. I did not know they were going to be that loud or I would have closed the door from the gate. They want to be brats all of a sudden, late at night. All right, I just wanted to see what color this is because they're all glitter. Oh, this one's just like a silver glitter. This is really hard poly gel. It is a little colder in here, so maybe that's why. Ugh. This one is like, it's like way colder in here. It makes me want to like put it in front of the heater. Ugh. It's like really hard. This one is way harder than the other one. That's crazy. And this one just is silver glitter. And this one doesn't have a number. I don't know. It's just silver glitter. <laughs> that one says 103. That one doesn't have a sticker at all. So I don't know what it is. All right. So what I do is just stick it down. Kind of split it in the middle. And then go upward. Kind of split it in the middle. I really like this pink glitter and I feel like I would actually use that. So I think I'm going to switch to the silver just because it doesn't matter anyway. Like I said, I'm covering these nails and who cares what's on the underneath. Okay. It is a little tad bit cold in here, so... It's not mixing and like being as pretty. But I am trying to keep more poly gel right here. Cause I've kind of noticed that obviously that's like where I need it the most is to fill in that apex area. Okay, going boom. And it's like a mixture of like base gel and poly gel, so it should pretty much work. And I like that it suctions on, so let's push that. Let's push that. And then spread that out. Kind of want to. I'll do the um, filing and all that after, you know what I mean? So, alrighty, that's enough. Just enough to, actually, I'll just do a little flashing just in case. I saw some people using like these or just like a tip and putting it on some of them but then like only putting it like right here and then filling in the rest as if you were doing nails which i actually like that i think i kind of want to try that one of these days like kind of just use it as a dual form for a tip though like just a dual form tip i think that would be cool all right i always hate doing the pinkies the pinkies are annoying because they're the smallest and you got to really like jam product in there. All right, let's try this again. This is such a, th uh, maybe if because of the glitter is thicker or like, no, because that's really chunky glitter. Boom. 
boom boom all righty let's get this working push that down get that base gel ah see i hate the stickiness oh but for anyone that like is having problems with the smell of monomer but you still want your fingers snatched because i buy so many full cover gel tips like i have so many shapes like a lot of them just because they are dope as hell it's just that i guess i don't put enough time into them but i should because they really are nice and it's really easy to do you know when you get used to them so it's not as messy that's the thing these are easy to do it's just that you kind of got to learn to do it the less messiest way possible you got to learn to finesse it and do it the least amount of mess that's what i need to learn the most that is the problem that i have the most out of this is learning how to do them the least messiest way because i definitely don't have you know the comfort i guess so i just put it down and push it forward let that suction on there a little bit. Ooh. No. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me just try over again because I kind of pushed the gel too far. So let's push this back into the apex. And get that. I can't push it too hard. That's, I think, sometimes where I mess up. But anything that see i need to like that's what i need to do is do it like nice and soft you see how i did it nice and soft that time and it's perfect this time boom nice and soft and then if i would have kept it like that it would have been fine <laughs> okay nice and soft i don't really care about the um the extra that goes over just because i will um hit that with an e-file so i don't really care i'll hit it with an e-file all right that is enough for me i mean it's a little crooked but we'll do all right, so I'm going to hit that with a full 60 seconds just so that I could be feel secure with this hand. I'm drinking um, tea, but I made my own pumpkin spice uh, creamer with real pumpkin, not, not just all spices with like milk and like a spoonful of pumpkin. I use like a whole can. I made a whole 32 ounce mason jar of pumpkin creamer. And I didn't put as much cream in the mix. I left that to the individual. So, you know, if you don't want that much cream and you want more pumpkin-y, then you could just do that and use your tea or coffee, whatever way you want to use it. I just put the creamer after. So, boom. I'll do the filing after. I just want to get this done. All right. So, let's do a little base coat. Let's do... Oh, I didn't even do base coat at all on this side. Yeah. So, I did do the prep and prime. I don't think I got anything on my nails. So, we should be good. And I don't mind doing like a good thick layer. Not like super thick, but just like enough because I need it. You know, I have flat nail beds. So these type of um, full cover gel tips. I mean, do you see the apex on these things? You need to fill them if you don't have the curvature. 
the natural curvature, which I've never met anyone that actually has. I mean, I feel like Max is the only one that has like perfect nail beds that actually fit these, but obviously he's the one that created them. So they're gonna fit naturally to his nail like the best. Okay, I kind of want to see, so I don't want to have these on for too long, but I actually kind of want to see how long they do last at that. And like, comment below if I should do it any differently, like if you don't like the way I'm doing it. Because I would like to learn, um, I only s watch like really Emily Susanna and Max do full cover anymore. I don't really watch a lot of people um, on YouTube, to be honest. I don't watch that many people. And the people that I do watch, they all do acrylic. Because that's like the main thing that I like. So if there's something that I should be doing different, please let me know. Because I would like to know. All right, so I did three pink and two silver. I should probably do, I'm going to do three pink and two silver just in case I, for some reason, want to keep these or do something with these. I would rather, you know, have them match. So I'm going to make them match. I should probably just keep take this out the way. This is alcohol. I'll use this napkin and soak that up after because we're not using it. Oh, all right. Boom. Let's do the base coat. I wish Max had like a um a lamp that was uh, wireless because I need a new wireless lamp and I kind of should have got the Kiara Sky but I keep talking myself out of it when I when they go on sale because they only do like oh well they did do 20% so I shouldn't be complaining but I want like 30% <laughs> like who am I to like tell them what deals to have but to be honest i do i want i want i want to get the lamp at 30 percent personally but that's just me because i already bought a lamp for 180 and that that was such a freaking waste so i'm kind of scared to invest another 180 on a dang lamp when i don't know if the damn thing's gonna you know be up to par and on how i want it i'm just scared i am i'm scared for sure but some people actually do um they do acrylic on full cover gel tips you don't have to do poly gel you don't have to do you could do whatever product you want that like obviously works obviously you can't do dip nails on a full cover but you know you could use acrylic you could use hard gel you could use poly gel you could do whatever product you you know feel comfortable doing you don't have to do this So let's pull this back a little bit. I want to make sure I'll be filing these nails anyway to make sure they're perfect and the edges look good. Okay, boom, boom. Okay. Now I got the tip on there. Well, 
Okay, so boom, boom. Let's get this because this is a little too much. And then I want to pull that out a little bit. Pull that out a little bit. Get that away from the finger. And if you don't like this uh, product close to the finger, oh my gosh, it moved completely. If you don't like this close to the finger, you can um, like take one of those underneath um, bits and just clean up the whole bottom if you really want to. All right, so this completely messed up. I think I have too much gel and not enough poly gel. So let's put a little more poly gel and call it a day because obviously I need more so that I don't have to push down as hard. Alrighty, boom, boom. Okay, and my nail bed is pretty small, so this should be definitely enough. I hope this, y'all aren't watching this video like she's a dang mess, but you know, I probably will put in the description struggling with Polly Joe, you know, just to be honest, struggling with Polly Joe. Boom, boom. I feel like this. Okay, there we go. That way. Okay. I feel like it's crooked for some reason. Why does this feel weird? This, this, um, I don't know why this nail bed just doesn't seem like it's fitting me properly. Is my finger crooked or something? I feel like this is going, it's like leaning. What is going on with this? Um, this this one for some reason is just weird it is fitting very weird i don't like the way it looks at all and i'm so confused because it doesn't feel like it, i didn't feel that way when i put this one on my other finger it's very strange yeah it looks normal on this one Make sure it's straight on. Alright, boom, boom. I will definitely have to file my cuticle on this one. This one is a dang mess. This one is a dang mess. Ugh, I don't like this nail at all for some reason. I don't like the way it fit on my finger. I don't know why, it's very weird. I don't know why I did not like the way that fit on my finger at all. Like it was like feeling very crooked. Does that ever happen to y'all? All right, let's put a little one here and call it a day. Let's get a little poly gel. Since I used the pink, I'm doing three pink. Okay. Ooh. There we go. Get in there. Get in there, boo. Get in there, boo. But what are y'all planning for Christmas? I will be posting this like tonight after I'm done doing these. So y'all will be seeing this before Christmas rather than after. I have to actually, I'm going to probably post this tomorrow because I have to post the finished product of the filing. I did somebody's nails, but... Um, I only posted the filing. I broke it down. Okay. Let's do this.
I feel like these nails are more to do with patience. And I don't have patience. So with stuff like this, it's just like, boom. With acrylics, it's either you know how to lay acrylic or you don't. Like, it's talent. You just lay it, shape it. That's it. With these, I just feel like it takes more patience and it's more annoying to do than anything. <laughs> You know? Alright, so boom, lay that down. Let's take this brush and pull it away from the skin. Boom, boom. And boom, boom. And boom, boom. Straight, and there it is. straight baby okay base coat okay mm -mm. it is definitely messy though not gonna lie my fingers are sticky as heck but as long as you have a little alcohol, you're good. And I do like, I mean, poly gels are actually very versatile. I mean, you could do, you know, the icy nails now. You Like the icicle nails. You could do, you know, uh, encapsulations. You could do Frenchies. Because you could put um, the extended nail bed in there. You could build that extended nail bed in there. Then do, you know, everything in on this and then just place it on the nail boom and then it's done so i get the i get why people love this stuff it's just that i love to do you know acrylic my next nails i'm gonna do acrylic probably because like i miss i want to do acrylic but after that i think i'm gonna do hard gel and then after that i'm going to do dip nails like i said i want to start doing and using all the products that i have so i can show you all the things that i do have and show you how to do dip nails if you're interested um and just show you the different things that you can do within the nail community it's not just acrylic it's not just poly gel you know you have hard gel you have dip nails um there is fiberglass i don't i'm not really interested in the fiberglass nails but you know go go do a uh to a russians channel they'll definitely do fiberglass not saying just any russian would absolutely do it but they are known for you know doing the fiberglass nails and stuff like that They're, they were like in my nail book. That's crazy because they're like super old school. Okay. So you just put the poly gel there and spread it around to you. I got to get it away from the cuticle. Man, it'll pull away a little bit anyway, so... Might as well put that on, get it ready instead of me messing around with it after. Okay. There we go. That one went on perfect. Absolutely perfect. I loved this nail. This one was absolutely perfect. Wow. So I just freeze it. Like I said, I just put it in the lamp after um, after I'm done. All right. So boom, boom. But what are you guys up to? I am going to probably just go lay down after this. I have been up since really early. Which now I won't be sleeping in at all because we have Christian 
for the next couple weeks, so. Um, and he gets up at the crack of dawn for the most part. <laughs> so, I will not be sleeping in unless it's days that are Justin's off. Okay, so. Oh, so the number was on the cap on this one. So, this one is one. I, I don't know if y'all noticed that, but it's one. So in. This one is really freaking difficult. I don't know if it's a different mix or what the hell is going on. But this one is just tough. I mean, they were sitting next to each other. So, like, how is this one way more harder? Oh, come on. You know what I mean? Like, how is this one harder than um, number three? So, I did... Ooh, 103 oh no 103 on my first three fingers and then for my ring finger and pinky i'm doing one it's number one baby i do like that his stuff is harder it's not as sticky like I didn't think this brush would have been good because like poly gel brushes are usually like well they're kind of actually like this so i guess it should have this shouldn't have been a problem but some poly gels are like super yucky and super sticky and i don't even have to use that much poly gel um so that's cool i don't even have to use that much um base coat i mean to like move it around it's awesome usually like the one time i used a different brand i don't want to say the brand but i used a different brand and it was like i was having to like coat and the thing is is that if you over mix it then it gets even gummier so it was just a mess it was a mess 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 all right so boom boom let's make sure it's straight on there and call it a day and call it a day freeze 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 okay freeze 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 so for some reason i honestly thought that this right the right hand was going to give me a problem because like y'all know that i'm right-handed so i thought i was going to have more trouble putting this hand on but this hand actually was easier which don't i don't know why maybe it's just because i'm getting used to it like after five or so hands you kind of get the hang of it and you kind of see like what works and what doesn't so maybe that's it to be honest it might not be really what i'm i should have just left the lamp on but okay let's do a little poly gel in here i don't want to put a lot because it's my pinky i don't want to flood it i feel like that's what i was doing wrong is that i was putting too much base gel and it was um breaking up the poly gel if i was moving it around too much you know So, I'm learning. Maybe I will start doing poly gel like at least once a month. So, at least one or two of my sets have to be poly gel for the month. I need to start giving myself goals and things that I need to do, you know. Try out different designs and really push myself. It just, y'all don't know how much pain I live with on a daily basis. So it's just some days it's hard, man. It's just hard to explain to people that don't understand it, you know. If you live, if anyone else lives with chronic pain, then you understand what I'm talking about. Where some days you want to do something and the night before you're really talking to yourself like, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. But then when you wake up the next day and you can hardly move out of bed... The motivation to do anything kind of disappears 
and then laziness kicks in and then you just don't want to do anything you know you kind of just like mm, maybe another day and then that another day doesn't happen for like two months you know which is not good you know, pain mixed with depression is just... Chronic pain mixed with depression is just not fun. Let's just put it that way. You know, let's just put it that way. And y'all know what I'm talking about. You know... I do like the versatility of the poly gel, like how much you can do with just poly gel and full cover tips. Like it's crazy as hell. How much you can actually do with these tips. <laughs> the stuff that I see is just absolutely breathtaking sometimes, you know? Not sometimes, a lot. Oh, hold on. I feel like there's too much poly gel over here. It was like sticking out, which I could definitely get with a file but you know okay let's get this nail I like that it kind of stays on like the, it's like so thick that it just stays on and I could kind of like move my finger it's just that my fingers are a little sticky so that doesn't help but I could tell that you could literally just pop these on and then go to the flashy instead of, um, actually I need to wipe that off. Let's, oop, let's buy the lamp. Let's see if I could do this one handed. Hey, that's right. Pretty good one handed. As long as I had my titty to help. So these, I like his poly gel actually, so that's cool. That one was really difficult to get out, but once it was out, I do like the way it moves. I like a stiffer poly gel. I don't like really runny, sticky, really super soft poly gel. That's not really my thing. So I do like his poly gel. It does seem like it's a little bit better quality, but that's just me. I haven't used a lot of poly gel, so I can't really give you like a professional opinion of like oh i've tried you know 10 different poly gels no i've only tried like three or four different kinds so but from those i do like mccart and you know max's the most he sent me what is this one oh this one is the crystal clear one i should have opened that one and just used it so crystal clear and then what is this one eternal beige Maybe I should try to do an extended nail bed one of these days with the eternal beige and try to make like a milky white. I could put like a couple drops of, um, Ooh, you know what I could do mix. So do the eternal beige and then mix a little bit of young nails synergy gel. This one's concealer pink, but I have white and I could make a milky nail with the white sculptor mixed with a little bit of the clear and do um like an extended nail bed with that okay so now that's done let's get to filing um let's get this back up here i have a few base coats i just want to make sure these suckers are good so i'm just gonna stick my fingers in one more time both of them I might add, I'm going to wipe my nails down first. Um, the DIY gel that he has is a little bit softer and stickier, so it's not really my forte. 
um i honestly will, will probably use that more for like gem placements when i want to do like a really high apex i think that's probably well when i'll um use that just because it's just not my thing you know Alrighty, let me wipe my fingers off and use a little manicure i don't know why but this room is not getting any warmer i don't know since i So you got to remember if you do put poly gel on the, the whole bottom, you have to clean and I kind of want to clean it now before I do filing so that dust doesn't really stick to it and then it's going to give me more of a problem after, you know? I was thinking about maybe one of these days I'll do these again, but I'll do like a deep red and then do like a red bottom or something, you know. I should have did like a red, like a red poly gel underneath here and then did a sweater on top. Dang, I definitely should have did that. That would have been dope. That would have definitely been dope. So I'll probably, um, I'm not going to paint these tonight because I'm kind of tired, honestly, y'all. I just wanted to do something tonight so that tomorrow when I have to finish the nails, like half of the problems, like half of it's done. You know what I mean? So that's why I just did this tonight. I'm feeling them. I like them. They're dope. I love the shaping, so... I want to get that out of the way at least. You know. I want to get that out the way. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. I just have the e-file, like the bell one. I would use the young nails, but I'm really just like cleaning up. So I feel like I don't need like too much. I don't need it like all like that, you know? Okay. So... I am definitely hitting the the cuticle like for sure. And then since tomorrow I'm doing like full um I'm painting these. I uh, want to just do a layer. So to me, the most important is really getting around that cuticle. I want it to look, you know, really snatched. 
Ever since I used my like young nails for real, my bell one does feel like a lot weaker and just not as good quality. I'm not gonna lie. Was it decent? Like, I, do I, I? Is it okay? Yeah, you know what I mean. But you can tell the difference between the power um, of like young nails versus their like a bell. Just saying. Just saying, you know. So like I said, I am um, just going. Cleaning up a little bit and just making sure. now I'm like my room is so much easier to clean up after and like spray down and stuff because like now I use my dust collector every time I do my nails like I'm not just being lazy and not you know taking it out it's automatically plugged in at all times because I fixed the wiring in here so that I have like 12 plugs now so like I have way many like a lot of plugs that Everything's plugged in now, all good, so, like, I'm super happy. And don't get me wrong, I do want, like, my, um, I want a wireless light, but, you know, I don't have to have one just because, like, I have the wire and it's, like, the, the lamp is plugged in and it's, like, right here now, so it's, like, super easy, but still, you know, like, I would like to have honestly two lights number one and because the other one is broken and i haven't really bothered my fiance to fix it because i kind of just don't want it i kind of just want I will be taking a hand file after this and cleaning the sides up and stuff. So if you see anything in the videos and you're like, oh, she's missing stuff. I'm not. I'm just going to do it with a hand file. I'm just focusing on my cuticles with the e-file because I'm going to do everything else with the hand file. Boom, boom, bong, bong. All right. Left hand with my right. Reverse. Bong, bong. So when your nails are like super long, you want to have them resting and like on something. So I'm using my pinky to kind of, and my hands are on my, uh, 
dust collector. And that's the other thing that I like. Why dust collector kind of gives me what I need to like file and have like something to lean on. Okay. And I'm using my finger to move. Kind of working with my. Oops. Working with myself. Because y'all know I'm trash with my left hand, so I'm trying to. Move my finger to help instead of only using my left hand. And you can tell with the, this nail, like the shine, like where is it at and where, like where you didn't do it yet. Cause obviously it, it would still be shiny, you know? But you see how I'm moving my hand, my finger with it? So I feel like I have more control when I do that, you know? So anyone that doesn't have, like, good control with your left hand, try that. Try to, you know, move your left slightly, but kind of move your finger with it more. And see if you like that better.
when you're doing super long nails for anything, just filing and all that, you're like throwing up all kind of weird stuff. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Should have did it with acrylic. Probably would have been easier and less sticky. Yeah, so the next time I do poly gel, I think I'm gonna do acrylic. How about that? Let's see how I like it. Get those sides nice and tight. And when I file, you know, long nails, you definitely want to hold it and make sure that um, you're not, like, putting too much pressure on your nail bed. You do not want to do that. It will hurt your nail bed, especially since my nails are so short. I want to make sure I protect them.
Make sure you support that long finger, you know. The structure of these nails are just absolute perfection. Like, absolutely perfect. Jeez. They're just so freaking beautiful. Lord have mercy. Just the shaping of them are just so gorgeous. How can you be mad at this shape? <laughs> you can't. You just can't be mad. Right. I'm gonna shut this off because the you know I'm just kind of doing normal filing. It's not like they're really going like really everywhere. So I thought I didn't like the Kira Scott files, but I kind of do. They're weird. Like they don't have as much grit. Like you can't feel the grit as much. But they do file, so I'm just like, where the heck is it coming from? It's so weird. But they file, like, really good. It's just, I guess the feeling of it was a little odd compared to, like, all the other files. Their files just feel so different um, than any other file. Does anyone understand what I'm talking about? Because this is a 100 grit file, but it almost feels like it's, like, a 220 but it works like a 100 grit file. It just doesn't feel because it just is so like, I don't know how to explain it. Like the grit just doesn't seem like it's a 100, but it works like a 100. Y'all get what I'm saying? I'm just surprised that's all. I'm feeling these nails. I tell you that, baby. I can't wait until I design them tomorrow. so tired y'all the day before i didn't sleep at all last night i finally slept like the night before i didn't sleep and then last night i fell asleep at like three i think and then woke up at five something and then was just kind of chilling in bed until christian got up
Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's so weird. This file is good, but it just doesn't feel as rough. It's so strange. But it feels very sturdy. So that's the one thing I could say that they're sturdier than a, um, any other file that I use. So any other file that I use, they do bend more than Kiera Skies. Like Kiera Skies is like tougher, way tougher than any file. But that's not really what I look for in a file. That's not the only thing. So I don't know. I'm very confused on how I feel about the Kiera Sky. It's almost like I want to say that they're my favorite because of the feel they don't feel like it's a huge grit but then when you're filing it's taken away everything like it is so i'm just so confused right now yo. it's like magic it's magic it's magic wait to do the design on these tomorrow i'm super excited now i'm super excited all right Boom, 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 shakalaka, baby. How pretty are these nails? I didn't file that one. Did I file these? Yes, I did. 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 Yes, baby. The shaping on these suckers right here. <sighs> I, I want to get his other square ones too. The extremes. Because they're flatter. So they'll be like perfect for me. I should have just used the brush before. This would have been so much easier. Okay, baby. All right, so the second video, which I'll post these probably at the same time just because I'm trying to uh, post more videos this month and just like really get out there, you know, keep it fresh and exciting. All right, you guys, I'm going to go because I want to clean up a little bit and then I want to um, go to sleep. All right, y'all. Um, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. This is how I do poly gel. Not very often, but you know, boom, boom. That's it. Love you guys. Peace.